Hey everyone, CTN Technology News here and today I'm doing a hands-on review of SteamOS, the operating system behind Valve's upcoming Steam Machine consoles. Now this operating system is available for download by people this weekend and it's essentially just a flavor of Linux. The launch brings some new tidbits about the new operating system. It's based on Debian 7.1 and it boots directly into Steam. It will be possible for users to open a Linux desktop, though that will require logging into a different user account at least for now. As Valve said earlier this week, at this stage, SteamOS is not for the faint of heart or those people short on hard drives. According to Valve's Steam requirements, installing the operating system requires a blank hard drive with at least 500 gigabytes available and one installation method requires a one terabyte hard drive. It also needs an NVIDIA graphics card. At the moment, cards from ATI and Intel aren't supported, though Valve says that, that will be coming in the future. Still, for people who weren't among the lucky 300 souls to be included in the testing of the Steam machine, this is the only way to get an early look at how Valve is going to try and break away from Windows with its own console. Now, the Steam OS can be found on Valve's website, and the operating system source code is also found there. You can also check out the FAQ page for more about the new operating system. Now, do I think that Steam OS is a valid Ubuntu competitor? Yes, actually I do. Steam OS is based on the same distribution Ubuntu is based on, and offers actually a lot more value than Ubuntu. While Canonical seems to be unclear of where to focus, servers, desktops, tablets, phones, or TVs, Valve has a very sharp focus. They are a game console which aims to bridge the gap between the desktop and game consoles. Valve is a very big player in the gaming space with over 65 million users, and the additional PC experience which Steam offers will make it more appealing to Xbox, PlayStation, and Wii customers. I strongly believe SteamOS will achieve what people have been waiting for for a long time. Now, right now, it very much is in beta stage. There are a lot of errors, but I guarantee you these will be worked out over the coming months. Let me know if you've installed SteamOS in the comments below. Let me know your first impressions about the new operating system. I'm really interested to hear about what you think about it, you my viewers. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!